In this problem, we are asked to convert 37 degrees Celsius to some amount of temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. In order to solve this problem, we need to use a formula. There is a formula that allows us to convert from centimeter, excuse me, from degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit and vice versa. We can use one formula regardless of which particular temperature we're given. If we're given Celsius or Fahrenheit, we still can use this same formula. This would be a formula for you to memorize. I'm going to write that down. Degrees Fahrenheit. You can find a temperature in degrees Fahrenheit by taking whatever the temperature is in Celsius, multiplying it by 1.8, and then adding 32. This allows us if we know the degrees in Celsius, we plug that in here, multiply by 1.8, and add 32. If we know the degrees of Fahrenheit, we would plug that into here, and then we would have to use a little bit of algebra and our properties of equality to solve for Celsius. Some books might use a different formula, but if you know your properties of equality and know how to solve one variable equations, all you need to know is this formula. Something else I want to be clear about is you might also see this formula as not 1.8 but as 9 fifths times Celsius plus 32. This is the same thing. If you were to take 9 fifths and divide 9 divided by 5 you would get 1.8. So this again is the same thing. I would recommend using 1.8 just because if you are solving for Celsius, if you're plugging in for Fahrenheit, Usually dividing by fractions, not too much of an issue, but if you were to do that, you would want to use parentheses. So typically, I'll recommend to students to use this formula here. So you need to memorize this. You need to memorize one of the, this formula in order to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit and vice, vice versa. So the first thing I'll do is I will plug in. Well, let me write down the formula one more time. That's a good practice to be in here. Good skill to practice and part of any problem is to know the formula. I know the degrees Celsius. I'm going to plug that in for C. So in Fahrenheit here, that's what I'm looking for. I'm not plugging in for F. I'm going to multiply my degree Celsius, which is 37. I will be multiplying that by 1.8 and adding 32. Now, notice I'm showing every single step here. If you're able to use your order of operations, that's fine. But it doesn't hurt when you're practicing to show each step. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply 37 times 1.8 and I get 66.6. .6. So then if I add 32 to that, I'm solving for F, I add 32 to that, you should get 98.6. If you leave your answer, now if you're doing this on a test, if you leave F equal to 98.6, that's not correct. You need to remember to take this equation here. We just solved this formula. Our answer would be 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember, the equation helps us get the value, but then we should go back and write the exact answer that we were asked to find. Convert this to Fahrenheit. In summary, we need a formula. The formula here, Fahrenheit equals 1.8 times Celsius plus 32. We write that down. Regardless of what we're given, if we're given Celsius, we'll plug that in for C and solve for F. If we're given the Fahrenheit, we would plug that in for F and solve for C.